We don't go after the scorpions for their pleasant and sweet demeanor, do we folks? No, we go after the scorpions to showcase just how interesting and fascinating they are. There we go. Right there, folks. This, this right here is the beautiful, the spooky, the creepy Centroides vitatus, the striped bark scorpion. Gary. Ah! Sheesh. Ah, oh, son of a nutcracker. My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and most dangerous animals. My mission? To see if I have what it takes to change your mind about some of planet Earth's most dangerous and misunderstood creatures. Even the bizarre and deadly life forms on this planet deserve both our respect and our appreciation. In today's adventure, I'm armed with my trusty blacklight as I search for scorpions. Under blacklight, scorpions fluoresce and glow in the dark. This should make it quite easy to find them, but I'll have to see for myself. Let's get started. So basically what we're going to be doing tonight is I'm equipped with some fancy, dancy flashlights. Now this is my normal flashlight here. But I have a secret weapon. This special, one of a kind, not really, but this special flashlight here. I've got a black light setting. Which you can barely see. Ooh, spooky. Now, <laughs> these scorpions aren't gonna know what hit them because they have a really interesting and mysterious attribute <laughs> about them. That's right, under this special black light, these scorpions, the components, the way that their exoskeleton is melded together, it actually reflects, it fluoresces, it glows under this special light. So I can turn a fairly unassuming bark scorpion into a glowing, spooky, green, ghoulish beacon in this kind of brown grass. So I'll be able to pick them out so easy because they will literally jump right out of the ground at me. So we're gonna get hiking around and uh, I've got a good feeling that we're gonna get a lot of scorpions tonight. Let's go. As we search for these scorpions, I'll be closely scanning the ground and grass tufts as these can easily obscure and conceal these arachnids. It takes a careful eye to spot these scorpions, even though they're glowing under this black light. Folks, come here, take a look at this. So you can see, kind of hard. Oh, she's got babies on her back. Look at that. You see where it's dark? Oh man, she's trying to scurry. Those babies do not yet have those hardened components of the exoskeleton. Look at that. You see that those are babies on her back? We're not gonna disturb her because she is a very, very, very good mother. These scorpions, a lot of people don't realize, are fantastic mothers. They carry their young on their back to protect them from predation. Here she comes again. See her right down in there. Don't wanna disturb her, but I'd love to show her to you. You can see that these animals are almost invisible in all that grass. But you can see all those tiny little fat baby bellies in there. These animals are amazing mothers and they carry those babies on their back to protect them because nobody wants to mess with Mama Scorpion. Nobody wants to mess with Mama Scorpion. So she carries those babies on her back until they molt a handful of times and are large enough to crawl on their way and become scorpions in their own right. So just a great example of how something creepy and crawly and even stingy like these scorpions are a lot more complex than people probably give them credit for. This is an animal with 
at least a rudimentary but very real sense of motherhood and she's going to protect those babies with her life which is why we're not going to disturb this lovely female scorpion because she's doing the most important job a scorpion can do which is fostering the next generation of scorpions so we're going to let her do that and let's see if we can find some more scorpions to capture now take a look here at the extreme difference between what these animals look like under the black light and what they look like under more natural light. It's not hard to tell how well camouflaged these animals are in their natural habitat. The earth tones on their exoskeleton help them to easily blend into their surroundings while they're on the move. How cool is that? Check this out, I just spotted this lovely scorpion here, you can see, whoa, brightly colored, no babies. It's perched up under this grass. Let's see if I can uh, finagle my way into capturing this scorpion. Now these are among some of the most toxic scorpions you can find here in North America. So I prefer not to be stung, at least not yet. Maybe, uh, maybe you guys will see a sting from one of these striped bark scorpions in the future. But right now, I just want to show you just this fantastic little creature here. Whoa! Kind of hard to scoop this guy up. Switch hands so you guys can see. Come on now. Mr. Grasshopper's getting in my way here. That was so close, there we go. Right there, folks. This, this right here is the beautiful, the spooky, the creepy Centroides vitatis, the striped bark scorpion. And look at the colors on this guy when he's underneath this beautiful ultraviolet, this black light. Okay, I'm gonna film this next segment in complete black light. So I'm gonna look really strange, right? You're gonna be able to see all the imperfections on my skin. You're gonna see all my freckles. But most importantly, you're gonna be able to see the beautiful, eerie, glowing green of the scorpion. Whoa, he's speedy. Whoa, I accidentally pinned his foot a little bit. So I'm gonna get this scorpion out onto my hand here. This is essentially a trick of the light, right? This animal is not in fact green under the normal spectrum of light that we would perceive him in. This little fella is reflecting. It's, it's fluorescing under this UV light. Many animals can fluoresce under UV light. And there's a lot of different theories as to why they do this. Perhaps these animals can see on a higher wavelength with this type of light and maybe they're using these colors to communicate to each other. Maybe they're finding each other by using these fluorescent colors. But who knows? It's really quite a mystery as to how and why these animals glow like this. Wow, what a cool little creature. Now these animals have a powerful venom. They have an extremely painful sting and they use this sting to completely disable and devour their prey. It's no joke. It's among one of the most painfully stinging animals that you can encounter here in Texas, so I've heard. We won't be doing a sting this video, but I have a feeling you'll see a sting video soon in the future from these spectacular little scorpions. A lot of people have been asking me to take the sting of the striped bark scorpion, and I would love to showcase the interesting effects that I'm sure this creature would be able to inflict. So be patient, bide your time, because I'm sure I will be able to deliver on that quite soon. But let's take a close look. Should I let this scorpion crawl onto my face? I think that that would be really cool. Y'all want to get close up for this. Oh, I'll come in a little bit closer. How does this look, folks? Oh, what a cool little scorpion. 
I love how bright these animals are under this light. Let's see if I can get this sucker to crawl up on my face here. Kind of scary. Ah! <laughs> well, they say you mess with the bulls, you get the horns. Jeez. Oh, son of a nutcracker. My eyes is watering. Where did he even go? Oh, there he is. Oh. Ow. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh, man. I guess it is a sting video. Oh, I guess it is a sting video. Oh my gosh, look at me, look at me with the normal light here. I'm like, like tearing up, look at that. Folks, I'm what's regarded in the scientific community as an idiot. And it was only a matter of time of putting creatures in and around my face that one of them was going to get me. But it's okay. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm not crying. There's no crying in baseball. But uh, yeah, that was just a little warning sting. Good night. Well, that'll wake you up better than a cup of joe in the morning. Woof. Well, you know what? It's just reminding me of a little tale of when I was stung on the face by a yellow jacket way back in the day, way before Jack's World of Wildlife ever happened. And my whole eye swelled up and I just looked like Quasimodo. And it was my own fault. I mean, I was, you know, messing with a yellow jacket nest. And, you know, like I said, you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Um, it was pretty bad. For some reason, this doesn't seem to be spreading that much. It seems to be very localized right there. And I'm hoping I don't have, I hope that I'm not gonna have this big puffy eye in the morning um, because I am trying to film tomorrow. But wow, it's intense, it's painful, it's pretty good. Uh, this is still not technically a, a bite or sting video, I don't think. Uh, although one has, has in fact taken place. Um, Ugh. But uh, I'm sure we'll do a proper one with this lovely scorpion at some point. Is it like red? Can you see? It's probably going to be hard to tell on my it's face. About the same. Man, it was just the tiniest flick. I mean, I don't even know if we're going to be able to get an action replay out of that uh, in the video. Uh oh. I was just trying to get it to crawl onto my face and I guess it just saw my face kind of come over the top. And they're so quick with that stinger. Again, that's their main mode of defense. These animals, of course, it chose to flee at first. Um, but as it was harassed by the uh, wildlife presenter that I am, by Jack's World of Wildlife, it of course felt the need to defend itself. It probably thought I was coming in like, uh, about to take a nice tasty scorpion lunch. Um, so it was well within its rights uh, to enact in its own self-defense, but man, that got me pretty good. Well, I guess this just goes to show you everyone at home, putting, your, putting scorpions on your face is not a worthwhile or smart idea for the most part. Okay, I'm thinking... I'm thinking this, uh, this scorpion hates my face. And you know what? I can't blame the sucker. All right? I can't blame him at all. There are probably millions of people across the globe that share in this sentiment. So I think we'll just go back to maybe some light petting. Man, what a cantankerous little sucker. How rude, but it's okay. 
We don't, uh, we don't go after the scorpions for their pleasant and sweet demeanor, do we, folks? No, we go after the scorpions to showcase just how interesting and fascinating they are. And if it takes a few stings to the face to showcase these cool animals, that's all right with me. Oh. Fascinating little arachnids. They are just so neat. Woo! How am I looking, folks? Got me right there. Probably fine. You know, I'm a superhuman. The real life Spider-Man. Thwip! No, I'm saying. But, uh, woo! This scorpion certainly got the best of me tonight. Uh, always a great reminder to be on your toes when working with these animals. Of course, I'm in no danger, uh, which is the only reason why I would pull such a stunt as to put it on my face. Uh, I do that to kind of illustrate, you know, just how unlikely these animals are uh, to hurt us without feeling threatened first, of course. Oh. I accidentally threatened this poor little fella uh, as I tried to put it onto my face, and of course he let me know that with that warning sting right to the kisser. But uh, we don't blame our lovely arachnid friends. He knows not the sin he has committed against one of his greatest supporters. I'll forgive him this time, but he needs to be on his extra special best behavior. Uh, as he gets along with his night tonight. We love our fantastic little scorpions. These are such cool arachnids, such an interesting group of terrestrial animals. One of the oldest lineages of animals that hauled themselves up onto land. Scorpions were some of the first creatures to inhabit these lovely terrestrial spaces that we now call home. So they are fantastic. It's their world. I'm just living in it. And Mr. Scorpion, he was quite astute in reminding me of that fact today. So we thank our lovely Scorpion for that uh, brisk and stern reminder about who's boss and who wears the pants on this little blue rock orbiting, hurling itself through space. Heart, I forgive you. Lovely scorpion. I hope that this video can help illustrate and send home a point that is really, really, really important for me to make, which is even though there are these kind of stinging, creepy crawlies, and even though they can inflict quite a lot of pain, that's not why they're here. That's not their main goal. It's not to make our lives worse and our lives harder because they just want to seek us out and put us in pain. These are tiny little animals that fear for their lives on a constant basis. I don't harbor any negative feelings towards the scorpion because it was simply doing what it felt like it needed to do to survive. We can't really hold these animals to a high standard of never causing anyone or anything pain. That's how these animals protect their lives. That's how they protect their offspring. So I know that they're painful. I know that you may have been stung by a wasp or a bee or maybe a scorpion or maybe even a centipede. But I hope that you can learn to look past that, maybe to understand where these animals are coming from when they are pushed to the very brink of needing to survive. And I hope that you have a little more grace in your hearts for these little earthlings who are just trying to do their best to survive. They're not here to hurt us, um, but they will, of course, fight tooth, nail, and stinger um, to protect their lives and to protect their offspring. Well, my friends, I think our lovely scorpion friend is more than ready to get back to doing arguably one of the most important things on Earth, which is being a scorpion. So we're gonna let our lovely, should I say lovely, our interesting friend go tonight. Come here, pal. It's all good. You were a lovely subject on Jack's World of Wildlife, and now you return to the beautiful world of scorpionage. 
us out. We'll get that. We'll get that black light on this fella. One last glowing green look at this amazing arachnid. Too cool. Well, all right, folks. I know you enjoyed this video, so I'm not even going to say I hope you enjoyed it. I know that you liked seeing me get kissed right on the kisser by Centroides vitatus, the striped bark scorpion. And I know that you enjoyed getting that as a bonus because this is not even the true uh, assigned bark scorpion sting video uh, that may or may not be planned to take place very soon after we film this one. So I hope that in addition to enjoying this video, you also learned something. I hope I imparted the knowledge within you that these animals are not only really cool, really interesting, and really pretty in the right setting, uh, but fascinating and important members of their respective ecosystems. These scorpions have been around for a heck of a lot longer than we have, and I am sure that they will long outlast us. But I hope this adventure humbled you a little bit. We are not the only earthlings to have graced these rocky continents that we now call home. We have been predated by many organisms, and we will be preceded by many, many more. So it's important to remember that we are all caught in the fantastic web of life and mystery. So remember, that's not a ah, yucky a horrible scorpion that I see in my home. That's a, how do you do, fellow earthling? I hope you are enjoying your time as you move through your environment and devour your prey and mate with your mates. It's important to recognize that all of these fantastic creatures around us have the right to life the same as the rest of us. So be kind to your fellow earthlings. Understand they're not here to hurt us. They're not here to scare you. They're not even here to sting you, unless you put it on your face, but that's besides the point. They're here to survive and to play a role in their native ecosystems, much like this one. So thanks so much for tuning in today. I know you enjoyed it. I know you liked seeing me eat my words, so to speak, getting stung on the face uh, by these lovely scorpions, but look at me. I'm a big boy. I ain't got no chip on my shoulder. I love these scorpions. I still love them even though they've stung me. And I hope that one day you can learn to do the same. So thanks so much for tuning in today. I'll see you next time.